Of all the worrisome information that we've been bombarded with since the advent of COVID-19, of rising infection rates and death tolls, there are other alarming and harmful effects that have been uncovered in a new study, and that is the indirect impact this pandemic is having on our nation's children in the form of increased poverty, higher risk of violence in the home, and often deteriorating states of mental health. And that is something many kids can attest to. You also don't get to see your friends as much, and that's not good for your mental health and all. One of the authors of this report says the state of the health and wellness of Canada's 8 million children has been dropping in the last 10 years. We have gone from 12 amongst wealthy nations to 25, but since the pandemic, that has fallen even further. Taking mental health, for instance, suicide is now the leading cause of death for children ages 10 to 14. No, if that doesn't shake our nation to the core, I don't know what will. You know, we know that children's mental health has been on the decline, that the, there's increased numbers of children showing up at emergency rooms trying to seek mental health support, that children are on wait lists for months, sometimes years to come. Uh, but now that seeing suicide being the leading cause of death is deeply disturbing. The report names 10 top threats to the health and well-being of kids. One of them is poverty. Sarah Austin says we are seeing more kids showing up at shelters and food banks thanks to the added financial hardships that many families have been experiencing during the pandemic. Also, the risk of violence in the home has been on the rise in Canada even before COVID-19, with one in three people reporting some form of abuse before the age of 15. But in the last few months, statistics show it too has now increased. Family violence has definitely been on the increase during the pandemic because of the economic pressures that families are facing and social isolation that's been going on. Indicators show black, indigenous and other groups are particularly vulnerable to these adverse odds. Another factor is a lack of exercise. Since the pandemic, only a fraction of kids are meeting the 60 minute per day guidelines of physical activity, down from 35 percent of 15 to 17 year olds in 2018 to as few as 0.8 percent now. <laughs> enjoyed a few minutes of playing hoops with dad in the park but it's a far cry from what they're accustomed to it's a lot harder having um to balance being present for your kids taking time off to go shoot some hoops or other stuff like that and at the same time needing to get work done so this is our lunch break that we're taking together one other disturbing finding, Austin says, is the report shows a dramatic drop in vaccination rates since the pandemic, which she says could lead to long-term negative health effects. Austin is calling on all levels of government, but in particular the federal government, to take these findings seriously and show leadership in this area, to develop a national strategy complete with a specific children's budget and an independent commissioner who will move the needle and really drive change. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.